Well, we have a situation here where Tito Santana is trying to get in that ring and is really having this problem. That's Graham Martin. There's the bell. There goes Dunbar flying out of the ring in a hurry. He was ready to introduce the event. And Tito uncorks on El Grand Marcus and the match gets on the And here, Grand Marcus and Tito almost in our match. So this crowd here at the Sam Houston Coliseum lets loose a roar as Tito answers Grand Marcus's efforts to keep him out of the ring by belting him around. That's Tito, a fine-looking young man who was born and raised down in the valley here, not far from Houston, and whose family are at uh, every match that he has here in Houston, and we always welcome them with open arms. He welcomed Grand Marcus with open arms and an open foot. So Marcus, who can really let loose with a blue streak of toss and is now blaming everything on Tito Santana. Marcus, who has just recently come back from Mexico after a sojourn home there and is looking as tough to handle as ever. And certainly he has been in some rugged battles here in the Sam Houston Coliseum. The exchange on the ropes as they start giving and taking, and Tito Santana blasts Grand Marcus in the midsection, and Marcus complains that it's a foul blow, but the blows are landing in the proper territory. So Marcus is in danger right now of having his head pounded in as the nutcracker is applied by him. Santana. My own opinion of Tito Santana is that he is one of the finest young prospects in the wrestling game today. He is the man who won the 50-year tournament here in the, the three-day tournament we held two years ago. He's the man who won it. And Santana proved himself worthy at that time and in every match I have ever seen him compete. So the crash as he was tossed over, and then in comes Santana to take a front headlock. Yes, wrestling Friday night at the Sam Houston Coliseum. Friday night starting at 8 o'clock. The return of Kamala, the Ugandan giant, who is going to be battling against Hacksaw Duggan in one of a series of great top events. The atomic drop, and there it is, and Tito got his knee under there in time, and when you come down on a knee with the force with which he hit that one, you're bound to be in trouble. Now you notice Grand Marcus at his toughest as he tries to catch Tito unprepared. Come up there, wheel that knee and threw it in. And Marcus trying to defend himself in that corner. His foot is caught by Tito Santana. And Tito's head, there it is. Tito hanging on to it. And the fans were hollering for him to tear it off. The exchange, the back and forth, the front headlock now by, by, by Tito as Marcus is hauled out toward the center of the ring. On top is Tito, but he's got to hold him there. And Marcus gets exceptionally difficult to hold when those shoulders are on the canvas. One shoulder, you can get down fairly easy. You get two of them, and he's tough. On exchange, and Tito is going right after Grand Marcus. And Marcus is employing the tough tactics. Tito is returning the compliment and with a vengeance. 
Marcus with that impassive mask and the as he starts back in he finds himself with a, just a little bit of room but Tito waiting and waiting up close the knees have been driving up there fast and furious in this battle And again, Grand Marcus looking for a soft spot and it's hard to find on this youngster. I tell you, at his age and his height and weight, he has the potential for a champion. Give and take. And when you give it to Tito, he's going to slam it right back in there, and Marcus is finding that out. And he has reached that point where he wonders why he ever started it in the first place. And he's trying to lull Tito into a sense of complacency. And Tito rushed a little bit too close, a little bit too hard and a little bit too fast and right into a driving knee that came up from the canvas and struck him right in the solar plexus. Tough to take. Drives every breath right out of your body and Tito knows it. That's why he's after the breathing apparatus. The kick in the ribs, the kick in the back. All affect the breathing. So Marcus Straightens him up, gets a arm and headlock. Oh man, he slammed that one in there. And Marcus with plenty of wallop in there, and you can see the drive coming up into the into the jaw. Marcus having his head pounded and pounded and Tito now wants to put it someplace where that pound can do some good. He's going out to the mask. He's got two hands full of it. One at the bottom of the mask and one at the top. And that was the fastest move Marcus has made. And he's made some fast ones in this match. But he made certain that he got out of that ring while his mask was still on his head. So there's Marcus climbing up on the apron and weighing the chances of getting in. He got in, but he wouldn't have given Tito quite that opportunity. Marcus doesn't go around speaking much English, but when he's out there, his gestures show that he is alert to everything that happens in the match. The last signal to the referee to watch the fact that Tito uh, had a clenched fist was an example of that. He's going for a double wrist lock and wrapping it around the rope just aids and abets it. And you notice how he throws those part forearm, part elbow, and sometimes part fist. He senses the advantage. Tito knows that Marcus has the advantage right now too. And he can only kind of cover up a little bit to get into a defensive position. And Marcus has taken away that opportunity. It's where he first chin locked and then he lets his hands sneak over into the back of the neck. He's got a grip on the trapezius muscle. One hand on each side. He bears in there with those fingers. He whirls in tight and hard and leans down on them. And... The referee is asking Santana if he wants to capitulate. That particular hole stops the circulation and bothers those nerves that go right down into the fingertips. And as he throws his hand out, that hole Marcus. And Marcus through the ropes and on the floor and crashing into the protective barrier around the room. Tito trying to set him up. Headlong dive, it's Tito on top, 
And as Marcus gets out, here's Nick Cole. He almost took his head off that time. Kiko Santana on top, pounding away at him. And he's top man. There's one. There's two. And Marcus managed to ease his way out. Ten minutes have gone by as Santana tries to continue his punishment of El Grand Marcus. And around he goes, pounding away. And Marcus is pulling the. Here comes the mask. The mask, he's, he's getting it off. And pounding. Look out. Here comes the mask superstar. And Tito is occupied on both sides with the superstar on one hand. Sometimes signing on the dotted line is hard and sometimes it's easy, but with Dusty Rhodes backing up Tito Santana, we have signed this pair to go up against the masked Super D and the Grand Marcus next Friday night. And Tito, the, the, uh, I want to tell you something. You were putting up a great scrap against that man. Well, Paul, you know, I found out one thing in a short time. Grand Marcus and Super D have something going together. They've both interfered in my matches. Well, if that's the way they wanted them cowards, I got a man that's going to back me up, Dusty Rhodes. Estos cobardes pagarán, el antiguo trabajo mexicana. Le enseñó la cara el gran Marcos. Y yo y Dusty Rhodes les vamos a enseñar a los cobardes que venemos a golpearlos con corazón. Pagarán los cobardes. You know, I don't, I just got a little, a little woe what he said, but I know he's right. And you just said it's hard to sign sometime, but any time Paul Bosch puts his name on the line, that's the only wrestling in town. That's the only wrestling in town. And now then, Grand Marcus and Superstar, Super D, understand that they got to deal with these now. They got to deal with these right here. Because now the time is right. Because we ain't backing up no more. We ain't taking second fiddle no more. And the thing is, the Texan Dusty Rose right here, my mama live right in this town. And Tito Santana, my good friend, one of the greatest young athletes in wrestling today. And the American Dream Dusty Rose. Now then, Grand Marcus, you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, how am I going to overcome this? How am I going to do anything about this? Because Super D can't help you. Once you got to deal with these, you can't deal with these two things yet. Because we're right for the night. That's what it's all about. Grand Marcus me insulted me in front of all the Americans. Me llamó mojado y me insulted como él que como como le gustó. Y ahora tengo la oportunidad de enseñar a toda la gente mexicana de aquí de Houston y donde quiera. Y tengo el amigo mío aquí, Dusty Rhodes. El número uno, número uno y número uno, vamos a enseñar a toda la gente mexicana y a todos de aquí de Houston. Estos cobardes pagarán, baby. Arriba. 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 That's it. Arriba. So Dusty Rhodes and Tito Santana, and I'll tell you, that's an imaginative team. That's a team with spark, and that's a team with this. And Dusty Rhodes is a great man to have in your corner. In our Grand Marcus and the Super D. And you should be proud of yourself. <laughs> si no ha sido por ese mugroso oxigenado, ese güero gordote, hubiera acabado con ese mugroso que es mexicano, Tito, Tito Santana. Pero la próxima domingo, el próximo viernes, aquí no vamos a ver delante toda esta bola de mugrosos que no va a intervenir nada. Por eso voy a acabar con ese que dice que es mexicano. El mexicano soy yo porque llevo sangre mexicana. Ese es un arrimado, un bracero, un deportado de México aquí. Pero yo y mi pareja vamos a acabar con ese mugroso güero oxigenado que si no ha sido por él esta noche lo hubiera retirado de aquí de la lucha hasta el hospital si no ha sido por el güero oxigenado mugroso que dentro de ocho días nos veremos aquí para demostrarle quién es el padre de toda esta bola de arrimados esa bola de braceros esa bola de mexicanos 
and you had a nerve going into that ring in there. Oh. Let's see if you'll go into it willingly sí, next Friday sí, night okay, when sí. you're supposed to be here. Yes, I agree with anything my amigo over here said. Now, I went down in that ring there because I didn't want El Grand Marcus here to whip up on Tito Santana too bad. From he underneath. had him beat up just the way he wanted him, and I didn't want Tito Santana to be all beat up and bloody. I did you people out there a favor. I went down and saved your local hero. I pulled Grand Marcus off of him. I says, Grand Marcus, leave some, leave some. Don't beat him to a bloody pulp. Is this the leave same some. match that we saw? It is. Grand Marcus had him right where he wanted him, had Tito Santana right in the perfect spot. And I went down there to make sure that Tito Santana was able to come back. I should be the hero of Houston for saving your favorite son. Well, we'll put your name up for a vote, but I'll we'll be also be here to see you get that mask knocked off Next Wait Friday minute, night. Boss. Don't be making any uh, off-the-cuff remarks about my hood here now. A lot of great men have tried to take it, and a lot more are going to try, but nobody's going to get it. And... Y recuerda, Tito Santana, si me estás viendo, me está yendo por televisión, recuerda que llegó tu padre, el padre de toda esta bola de braceros arrimados, que ya verás cómo estamos adelante toda esta bola de mugrosos para demostrarles sí, sí, sí. quién es tu All padre. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much.